Well, a Toronto company is looking to upend the real estate industry, rolling out an online marketplace that connects potential home buyers and sellers with real estate agents. Uh, for more on his plans and how he's aiming to tap into the millennial market, we've got Noble Chief Executive Officer Regan McGee. Great to have you here. Great to be here, Amanda. So this feels like an industry that's ripe for disruption because it's been slow moving. Um, it, did, did recent decisions around data sharing change the picture for you materially? Absolutely. So when you look at what happened in the U.S. with the antitrust laws being applied in 2011, when you look at the Competition Bureau in Canada with multiple lawsuits against real estate agents, the changes that came after that allowed companies like us to exist and thrive. So the job of being a real estate agent has fundamentally changed, and we are here to uh, bring it into the 21st century. So tell me what Noble does. How does it work exactly? So Noble is the world's first true digital open marketplace. We connect buyers and sellers with agents. It's a, it's a true marketplace, just like when you think about Uber, if you want to go to the airport, you go on Uber, you get uh, different options in terms of different vehicles, et cetera. Then you go to the airport, you leave a review at the end. With Noble, you can uh, look at wh whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate. You put in basic pieces of information. Agents then compete for your listing or your, or your buy. So they'll give you their proposal where it outlines exactly what they're including, what they're excluding, um, what their track record is, reviews from people that have actually used them. Think Amazon verified buyer ratings or eBay ratings, mm -hmm. uh, star ratings, just like on Airbnb. Um, and then you have a the full transparency that um, this is what people are demanding nowadays, especially millennials, is how they want to do everything. They want information, they want transparency, they want it tech enabled. And one of the things that you allow is some negotiating room. Uh, with agents so far, there really hasn't been any. You, you pay 5%, 2 and a half to one side, 2 and a half to the other side. How does the negotiation part work here? You're exactly right. And that's why the Competition Bureau got involved and why the antitrust laws in the U.S. were invoked. Uh, uh, the, the perception is it's been 5 or 6%. It's been that way for 120 years. Uh, the job has completely changed, mm -hmm. but the fee structures stay the same. With our marketplace, it's, it's a competitive marketplace. So agents that... Uh, want to charge 5%, if they can justify the 5% through their reviews and their overall service proposition, that's great. Uh, if they're doing something that's more like a 3% job, then that will come out as well. So it's it's really about consumer choice. Uh, when you think about Airbnb, it's not just $50 a night couches. There's also $20,000 a night you know, amazing vacation spot rentals, right? Uh, it's all, it's consumer centric. So whether the consumers want the absolute best at, the, at a high price or the cheapest, it's up so to them. So if you succeed, who's disrupted? Who has to worry here? So uh, we are we're, we are very disruptive, and we're disruptive to the whole industry. Um, when you uh, is it sort of the royal lapages of the people that employ agents? Because now you're kind of saying to agents, this is a marketplace for you, and you don't have to associate with another brand. Well, um, that, I mean, yeah, they would they would be they would be some of them. Uh, the big brokerage owners and the big agents have seen the light and. Um, they're actively involved with our company, uh, which is which is helpful for us. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, when when you look at the travel industry, sort of 15, 20 years ago, and Expedia coming along and Priceline and, and so on. I mean, you know, who was who was disrupted? It's uh, it, I mean, this will this will reshape the industry. And so, what's your vision for this? How where, where does it ultimately land you? So we are building a full ecosystem, end-to-end -end real estate, consumer-centric. Buyers and sellers never pay us anything; they never see an ad. Uh, it's a competitive process throughout the whole throughout the whole buying or selling of real estate. I mean, real estate transaction fees are 1.9 percent of our GDP, and that's not property value; that's transaction fees. So, I mean, there's there's a lot here to to change. And are there competitors out there? Is there a big barrier to entry on this? Uh, so we are a brokerage everywhere we operate. Uh, we just don't have any of our own agents. Um, so. So when you think about like Airbnb and Uber, they were regulated at the state or at the provincial or municipal level rather. We're regulated at the uh, state and provincial level, and everywhere we're operating, we're technically a brokerage and we're on side. We make sure that we're compliant. Um, for us to scale, because they're not our own agents, these are ag agents with existing brokerages. We scale very quickly, which is why we're already opening up uh, big sections of the United States. And so, what is the geographic footprint right now? Uh, we are across Canada right now. We're open in Florida, although we're just sort of getting it going. Uh, we're opening Georgia, Texas, California, and Ohio right now. Uh, we expect that within uh, a year we'll be across North America and then expand after that. And as you say, the big players, the incumbent players, are aware of you. They're kind of... Yes, they're calling us already. And uh, are they trying to block you? I mean, so sometimes the first, their first course of action is to try to keep you out. Um, they're more acquisition offers than anything else. Uh, they're, they're in partnership offers, that sort of thing. They see the platform as something that they want to be part of. Exactly. Yeah. Is that on your agenda? Uh, if if it's the right deal, then absolutely. Uh, I mean, the, the big players know what we're doing. Uh, you know, people have tried to disrupt real estate for years, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think most of it's really been very successful. Uh, one of the big challenges is it's a lot of people who 
aren't from the real estate industry and they don't really understand how the industry works very well. Right. Um, this is industry players who are disrupting it from the inside. Uh, um, the companies that other people talk about, which are wonderful companies, uh, you know, are sort of Compass and Redfin, which are similar. Right. Uh, they're tech-enabled brokerages, so their agents are on our platform, just how you know, Beck taxi drivers are on Uber. Um, and, and again, they're great companies. Great to have you here for this. Glad to be here. Great story. Noble's Chief Executive Officer, Regan McGee.